This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, hatch to the Poisk airlock is open. It's rare for a European astronaut to put on a Russian spacesuit and do a spacewalk with a cosmonaut outside the International Space Station. But it's even more unusual given the war in Ukraine raging a few hundred miles below, especially since this cosmonaut, Oleg Artemyev, is one of the three pictured here, photographed a few weeks ago with the flags of two Russian-occupied regions in Ukraine. The other spacewalker is Samantha Cristoforetti with the European Space Agency, or ESA. All right, Samantha, it is your time to shine. I think uh, Samantha doing that spacewalk with Oleg is, uh, you know, the optics aren't the greatest, but they're in space. It's work that needs to get done. Former NASA astronaut Scott Kelly spent nearly three months in space with Cristoforetti back in 2015. Her mission on this spacewalk is to continue activating the European robotic arm that's attached to the Russian segment of the station. The same robotic arm that the former head of Russia's space agency instructed cosmonauts to stop using earlier this month after Europe killed a separate space project with Russia over objections to the war in Ukraine. Dmitry Rogozin was removed as the head of Roscosmos just days later. I was really, really happy to see him go. Kelly was one of Rogozin's most vocal critics, even getting into a few Twitter fights before Rogozin blocked him. Rogozin repeatedly threatened to pull Russia out of the space station in response to U.S. sanctions. Now Kelly's hopeful that Rogozin's replacement, Yuri Borisov, will improve Roscosmos's relationship with NASA. Borisov will now be in charge of overseeing a newly agreed upon seat swap. Starting in September, two Russian cosmonauts will launch on U.S. spacecrafts from Florida, while two American astronauts will ride Russian rockets into space. It's a practice that's been done in the past, but never with tensions this high. I have mixed feelings about it. The International Space Station has survived every conflict on Earth for more than two decades. And despite the war in Ukraine, this unlikely partnership continues in space. A European and Russian working side by side for seven hours to finish the job. Thank you very much for your hard work. Kristen Fisher, CNN, Washington. Okay, now it's good.